Hello, my name is Lubica Kotorová Plushna. Uh, I work at the Institute for Forecasting of the Center of Social and Psychological Sciences at Slovak Academy of Sciences. I am going to present you the paper that we wrote with my colleague Miroslav Balok. The title of our paper is The Ad Identification of Key Actors in Industry 4.0 Informal Research and Development Network. Scientific literature provides numerous examples of benefits of cooperation in research, such as increased quality, efficiency, cost sharing, increased expertise, funds, access to facilities, equipment, networks, or ability to address large-scale research issues. Industry 4.0 is a concept covering various research areas. Its development depends on the cooperation among various stakeholders, particularly public research and development organizations. Uh, so the aim of our paper is to provide mapping of informal strategic research and development partnerships of public uh, research and development organizations in the area of Industry 4.0. Uh, the research network was created based on data obtained from a questionnaire survey on a sample of 20 respondents. Uh, these respondents were leaders of research teams. Um, our approach is based on the self-identification of the network, proceeding from its core to other layers using the snowball approach. Uh, we began with identifying the network core or first level teams. These first level teams were identified through data mining of excellent international research projects funded by Horizon 2020 in order to identify internationally successful teams from Slovakia. Identification of projects was based on keywords related to Industry 4.0 these keywords were derived from priority areas or um, technological domains defined in several strategic materials approved in Slovakia. Uh, those keywords were Industry 4.0, Robot, IoT, Internet of Things, Industrial Internet, Simulation, Artificial Intelligence, Augmented Reality, Cybersecurity, Cloud, Big Data additive manufacturing or um, 3D printing. So these first level teams were approached using a questionnaire survey to identify their strategic partners and thus creating the second layer of the network. A questionnaire survey was also administered to this uh, R&D team uh, in case that the second level teams identified a team not included in the first or second layer, they were considered as third level of the network. So the final network uh, consisted of 32 R&D teams. Uh, four uh, were identified as four first level teams, 17 uh, were identified uh, as second level teams and 11 as uh, third level teams. Uh, the final network is a network of informal cooperations. Uh, respondents uh, were asked in a questionnaire to identify other teams of public R&D organizations with which they cooperate and plan to develop and strengthen this cooperation in the long term and whom they consider strategic and above average partners. Uh, so this figure shows the cooperation of all identified domestic R&D teams within the Industry 4.0 concept in Slovakia. Uh, these teams are located at three technical universities, uh, Slovak University of Technology in Bratislava, University of Žilina, Technical University in Košice, and uh, one 
department from um, the Comenius University in Bratislava and one institute of the Slovak Academy of Sciences. Um, in this figure, the size of a node depends on the value of uh, indicator in degree centrality. Uh, this indicator provides information on how many actors mentioned this particular actor uh, as partner for research cooperation. Uh, so the important importance of an actor increases depending on how often this actor has been identified as significant by other actors of the network. Uh, collaborations that took place in several technological domains of Industry 4.0 were given a higher weight, which is visualized by thickness of the line. Uh, the color of the line is determined by the node to which the cooperation is directed. And so we can see uh, that 91 links representing different types of cooperation were identified between individual research and development teams. Uh, the resulting network is a continuous network within which uh, individual paths connect nodes to one another. This connection indicates the complementarity and interconnectedness of individual technological areas of Industry 4.0 concept. Uh, the network density indicator shows the number of potential connections uh, that have taken place. If all possible collaborations were realized, then the value of this indicator would be 1. Uh, within a denser network, there is a presumption of better sharing of information and knowledge. Uh, however, the overall cooperation level represented by network density between individual teams in our network is quite low. Uh, on average, one research and development team cooperated with almost three others. Uh, the value of average degree was 2.8. Uh, the average weighted degree assigns a higher weight to cooperations that took place in several domains simultaneously and its value is 3.7. Uh, domestic teams of public R&D organizations included in the network operated in various regions of Slovakia. Uh, the capital of the Slovak Republic had the highest number of teams and highest number of researchers working within these teams. Uh, these were followed by the regions of Zilina and Košice. Uh, the cooperation between the individual teams of public R&D organizations was not regionally homogeneously distributed. For teams located within the Bratislava region, intra-regional cooperation was higher than cross-regional cooperation. However, for teams located within the Žilina and Košice region, uh, cross-regional cooperation was significantly higher. Uh, so, the prevailing cr cross-regional cooperation suggests that geographical distance is not a key parameter in choosing a cooperation partner. Uh, cooperation within individual organization was also heterogeneous. Uh, within the largest university, the Slovak University of Technology in Bratislava, cooperation between faculties and within faculties was relatively intensive, uh, but within other universities, uh, cooperation between its organizational units so between faculties or within faculties was relatively low. Um, the position of individual actors in the network was determined using three indicators of network centrality, uh, namely uh, weighted in degree indicator, closeness centrality and between centrality indicators. 
uh, key teams of the network were identified as those with the higher than median values of these indicators. Uh, as a result, the five most important teams that met all these three conditions simultaneously were identified. Uh, three of them were situated at the Slovak Technical University, uh, namely the Institute of Robotics and Cybernetics, Institute of Automation, Me Measurement and Applied Informatics, and Institute of Manufacturing Systems, Environmental Technology and Quality Management. Uh, one team was identified at the Technical University in Košice, namely Department of Cybernetics and Artificial Intelligence, and <coughs> one at the Slovak Academy of Sciences, uh, that was the Institute of Informatics. Uh, ident identification of key actors based on the value of values of the network centrality indicators confirmed the results of our horiz horizon data mining to a certain degree uh, because as we can see that uh, three out of four actors are were identified by both means meaning uh, by horizon data mining and also by uh, network by the mm, values of network centrality indicators. Mm. Uh, these actors are important from uh, various points of view, not only as being identified as strategic partners by many actors of the network, uh, but teams with a high closeness centrality are important as communication channels. Uh, supporting the spillover effects. Uh, teams with a uh, high between the centrality are important for network connectivity, for example, supporting further, further network expansion and info improving information uh, dissemination. Uh, so to sum up our results, uh, the, the research network of public research and development organizations operating in the, fil in the field of Industry 4.0 in the Slovakia uh, is characterized by low density. Therefore, this cooperation between individual uh, R&D workplaces should be uh, strengthened and supported. Uh, our study also confirmed that there are several variables that are important to creating new collaborations and does not limit it to geographical proximity, institutional affinity or, or the size of the workplace. Uh, the choice of a strategic partner might be based on uh, numerous uh, factors and those could be often subjective and individual. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.